Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for August 15th. August 15th is the 227th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 228th in leap years, with 138 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is solicitude. Solicitude is a noun that means care or concern for someone or something. It comes to us from late Middle English, from Old French before that, and from Latin before that. And with that, we're going to start on August 15th in the year 1248, when the foundation stone of the Cologne Cathedral was laid. The Cologne Cathedral was built to house the relics of the three wise men. And if you'll remember, yesterday marked the date that this cathedral was completed in the year 1880, over 600 years to finish that project. Pope Sixtus IV consecrated the Sistine Chapel on April 15, 1483. On August 15, 1519, Panama City, Panama was founded. This is the birthday of French General and Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte, born August 15, 1769. He lived to the age of 51. Tivoli Gardens, one of the oldest still intact amusement parks in the world, opened in Copenhagen, Denmark, 1843. This is the birthday of American baseball player and manager Charles Comiskey, born August 15, 1859. If that name seems familiar to you, you may have heard of Comiskey Park, the White Sox's baseball stadium, which was built under Comiskey's guidance and named for him. He lived to the age of 72. This is the birthday of American composer and band leader Hugo Winterhalter, born August 15, 1909. He's best known as an easy listening arranger and composer and did a number of arrangements and recordings for RCA Victor. I remember my grandmother had at least one of his records and a nice big console stereo system like they had in the late 60s and early 70s and I sure did love listening to those records as a kid. This is the birthday of American chef and author Julia Child, born August 15, 1912. She wanted to join the military in World War II but she was too tall. <laughs> So, she joined the Office of Strategic Services, OSS, instead. Julia Child, chef, author, and spy. <laughs> she lived to the age of 91. The Panama Canal opened to traffic on August 15, 1914, with the transit of the cargo ship SS Ancon. Will Rogers and Wiley Post were killed on August 15, 1935 when their aircraft crashed after developing engine problems during takeoff in Barrow, Alaska. Barrow has another name now that I can't quite pronounce, but it is the northernmost American city situated at the very tippy top of Alaska. Will Rogers was 55 and Wiley Post was 36, and Oklahoma has airports named after both of them. The Wizard of Oz premiered at Grauman's Chinese Theater in Los Angeles, California on August 15, 1939. This is the birthday of Swedish journalist and author Stig Larsson, author of the Millennium Trilogy of crime novels, which includes The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, all of which I've read. I'm sorry to report these were published posthumously as he died of a heart attack at the age of 50. On August 15, 1961, border guard Conrad Schumann fled from East Germany while on duty guarding the construction of the Berlin Wall. Interestingly, a year later, on August 15, 1962, a man named James Joseph Dresnock defected to North Korea after running across the Korean demilitarized zone. Now, why in the world would anybody do that? Well, he said he was fed up with his childhood and his marriage and his military life. He also had an AWOL charge from the army that he didn't want to face. So he just took off. He ran. Ran across a minefield in broad daylight into North Korean territory 
Oh boy, they snatched him right up in a hurry. <laughs> there was another defector there already, and four more came along after that. One of the other defectors said that Dresnok was a snitch and a bully. Of interest to note that even during the North Korean famine of the 1990s, Dresnok always had plenty to eat. He said of it, why do they let their own people starve to death to feed an American? The great leader has given us a special solicitude. The government is going to take care of me until my dying day. And it seems they did exactly that. Dresnok lived until 2012 when he died at the age of 75. On August 15, 1965, the Beatles played to nearly 60,000 fans at Shea Stadium in New York City. This event later came to be regarded as the birth of stadium rock. Who all has ever been to a concert in a stadium? <laughs> On August 15, 1969, the Woodstock Music Festival opened. Half a million concert goers descended upon Max Yasker's 600-acre dairy farm in rural Bethel, New York to listen to performing artists that included Joan Baez, Santana, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix. On August 15, 1971, President Richard Nixon completed the break from the gold standard by ending convertibility of the United States dollar into gold by foreign investors. Today's song is Everybody Loves Somebody by Dean Martin, number one on August 15, 1964. Written in 1947 by Irving Taylor and Ken Lane, it was recorded by a number of artists, including Frank Sinatra. Dean Martin himself had sung it before back in the 40s, so he was familiar with it, when Ken Lane suggested it during a studio session. Everyone involved liked it so much that Dean Martin re-recorded it with a full orchestra and chorus, and his label titled the album Everybody Loves Somebody. Everybody Loves Somebody replaced That's Amore as Dean Martin's signature song, such that the phrase Everybody Loves Somebody Sometime even appears on his grave marker in Los Angeles. Everybody Loves Somebody by Dean Martin, number one, August 15th, 1964. Link in the description. I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called No Really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.